<laughs> All right. Hey, that might be our signal for weather. Let's take a look at the rain totals over the last 24. Perry, already over an inch of water from this system. It's really delivered for some spots. Syracuse up there up north, eight tenths, over a half inch now for Logan and most of Cache Valley. Uh, about a half inch for Brigham City Midvale, the same four tenths for South Jordan and Saratoga Springs. Three tenths. We're picking up some pretty good rain from this system. It's going to help the green things up in the foothills again. And you're noticing they just keep back building over the lake. So the instability found over the lake is helping to pop these guys up and then they drift in with the upper level flow to the Wasatch Front. We've got low pressure to the north and west, so there's more coming. The core of the storm not here yet. We're still dealing with some of the residual moisture from the storm that we saw yesterday. Here's the front edge of that storm that's moving in for today from the Pacific Northwest. Showers, thunderstorms embedded with it. It extends all the way down to St. George and even portions of eastern Utah now looking at some wet weather for today. Now we're into 2 a.m. Saturday morning, so through tonight, still holding on to rain out there in the West Desert and even portions of the Wasatch Front, so we gotta watch that. Now into Saturday, it was looking like earlier this week that Saturday would clear as we move through the day. That still does look like the case for most of the state, but look at this, still keeping some showers in play through five o'clock Saturday. How much water today and tomorrow combined? We're gonna do an additional quarter to three quarters of an inch on top of what we've already seen. So look at these totals extending all the way down the western side of the state, even St. George pushing over a third potentially. Eastern Utah, a quarter plus. Wow, this is a good drink of water for us. So if you have weekend plans, Saturday, tomorrow, we're looking at wet weather for most of the state, except for Zion National Park. Now you get into Sunday, drier weather is expected for your outdoor activities. So central Utah, rain with some embedded thunderstorms, temperatures cool in the 50s, even some 40s for some spots. St. George 64, this is your rainy day, then the rest of the weekend's dry. To the north, 50s generally for highs and everybody looking at a chance for this rain today. Some could see some pretty good wedding rains out there. It'll be great for getting that garden ready as we get closer uh, to uh, Mother's Day. 64 today rises to the 70s over the weekend with drier weather, St. George. And then next week, you're back to your 80 degree days. Wasatch Front, 57 to 53 wet days today and tomorrow. Right now, Sunday dry, but we could see a pop up. You get into next week, 60s and 70s. Pleasant spring weather will resume. All right, look forward to it. Thanks, Matt. Hey, just a